I'm gonna be in a Netflix show and you guys won't believe how insane this show is. Because not only is it a live action of a Japanese anime, it's also a K-drama. Oh. For years, many of us have been wanting an anime K-drama crossover like this. And I am honestly so thrilled to be part of this project. Now, are you ready to find out what anime it is? Can I get a drum roll, please? It's Paris. And if the name doesn't already get you hooked, the show follows a new character adapted from the anime that gets infected by an alien parasite that can transform herself into anything. Yet for some reason, she's able to maintain control over her body while the other infected hosts lose control and fall prey to the parasites. This leaves her with a task only she can fulfill. Or who knows, maybe she'll need a little help. As for what character I play, I'll just let you find out on my IMDb. Watch Parasite the Grey, out now exclusively on Netflix. So I haven't seen my grandpa in 14 years. And if you think that's crazy, just wait till you hear this. The reason why is because he lives in Africa. See, although my father is white and my mother is Japanese, my father actually grew up in Ghana because my step-grandpa who raised him there, who I'm actually named after, worked with nonprofits such as National Geographic and the Royal Wildlife Fund. He was even named Scientist of the Year once because of the amazing things he did for the world. More on that later. We even saw him on TV all the way in Japan when I was growing up. It was pretty crazy. The last time I went to Africa, I was 8, and the last time I saw him, I was 11. Well, he's moving out of Africa soon, and as I embark on this new chapter of my life, I figured it's time for me to go see my namesake. And honestly, my biggest inspiration in life. Because what greater way to learn about myself and my family than to go to the roots of where it all began. So yeah, I'm excited to say that I'm going to Africa, and um, Grandpa, I'm really excited to see you. See y'all soon. We're Japanese. Of course you watch anime without subtitles. Fuck up. We're Japanese. Of course we don't eat sushi all the time. Just twice a day. We're Japanese. Of course, we're the best looking Asians. Yeah, so not good at that. But, we're Japanese. We're Japanese. Of course, we're better than everyone. Yeah, yeah, me too. We're Japanese. Excuse me, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, I'm a photographer. I was wondering if I could take a few shots of you. Uh, yeah. Come with me to try on different kimonos from my home country, Japan. In partnership with FX's new epic series, Shogun. Guys, I was so inspired after watching the show that I had to go out and learn more about my own culture's history. And what better way than to go to my local kimono shop. Stay till the end to vote on which one you like the most. Now, as I try on kimono number one, let me tell you more about the amazing costume design in Shogun. Since all the costumes were based on the paintings of the Sengoku period, the wardrobe had to be very thoughtfully put together. And the end result was just beautiful. Well, this is kimono number one. What do you think? Let's move on to kimono number two. And while we do, it's also fascinating to know that all the fabrics on Shogun were hand-painted or silk stream, and their team studied all the patterns because each symbol meant something. Hey, kimono number two looking good. And as we move on to kimono number three, it's important to know that in the Sengoku period, people wore a kosore, which is the ancestor of the kimono. And now, here's kimono three. So, which one was your favorite? Watch FX's Shogun out now on Hulu. New episodes every Tuesday. Come with me.
So I had the chance to partner with FX and host the red carpet world premiere for their new show, Shogun. And let me tell you, it was one for the books. Not only did I get to interview Sanada Hiroyuki-san, one of the most famous and best actors of all time, I got to experience one of the greatest premieres I've ever been to. Because y'all, when I tell you they went all out, they went all out. From building a forest slash Japanese garden set, to creating a rooftop after party with authentic Japanese food, and a place where they wrote your name in Japanese calligraphy. I had them write Naoto, my Japanese name. I know, I know, it's pretty cool. But they really immersed you into the world of Shogun, and it was a night to remember. Now, you can watch all the interviews I did with the cast members on FX's pages, but here's one question I asked Sanada-san, one of my biggest role models, that I want you to hear the answer for. What is the most inspirational quote you could give them to chase their dreams and chase their goals? Just believe yourself and never give up. Alright, so there you have it guys. Watch FX's Shogun out now on Hulu. New episodes every Tuesday. Hey. What do you think the meaning of life is? <laughs> Seriously, bro? You're asking me? I'm serious. Like, we can't possibly put on this earth just to find meaning throughout our entire existence until we die. Why not? Because that would be... Well, that would... Huh? The way I see it. That's exactly what life is. What? Existentialism? No, oh, silly. To not know anything at all. Hmm. Yet, to still know. <laughs> At the end of the day, that you experienced it. Experienced what? Laughter, sadness, happiness, anxiety, life. So life is the experience. You said it, not me.